Once upon a time, Iapetus, the son of Uranus and Gaia, was a well-known figure in Greek mythology. He was the father of many notable figures, including the infamous Prometheus who stole fire from Mount Olympus and Atlas who was tasked with holding up the celestial sphere. What many don't know is that he was also the suspected father of Bufagus and Anchiali. Interestingly, Iapetus is also linked to Japheth, a biblical figure who is believed to be one of the sons of Noah. This biblical connection has led to some early historians and scholars identifying various historical nations and ethnic groups as descendants of Japheth. As a result, some nations have loosely fused their identities, leading to a lasting legacy that has transcended time. Despite being a lesser-known titan in comparison to his siblings, Iapetus' lineage and associations have left an incredible impact on ancient Greek mythology. His connections to biblical figures have also made him an important historical figure whose legacy remains strong even today. Long ago, during the Golden Age, Iapetus ruled as one of the powerful titans. He was well known for his strength and intelligence, and his name was honored across the land. But one day, he and his brother Cronus were captured and banished to Tartarus, a dark and suffocating underworld. There, they were left to suffer in eternal torment, without any hope of escape. Iapetus' wife, Clymene, was devastated by her husband's fate. She was a beautiful and wise goddess, and her heart was heavy with sadness. She knew that Iapetus had done nothing wrong, yet he was condemned to this terrible fate. With tears in her eyes, she refused to be separated from her husband and chose instead to share his punishment. So, together they endured the endless darkness and silence of Tartarus. Years passed, and the world above continued to change. Mortals came and went, kingdoms rose and fell. But Iapetus and Clymene remained deep beneath the earth, their presence forgotten by all but a select few. According to legend, their son Prometheus was one of the few who remembered them. He was a brilliant god, skilled in the arts of fire and invention. He longed to help his parents, but he knew that there was little he could do. Though Prometheus was not Iapetus' only son, he was the most famous. He was known throughout the land for his intelligence and wit. Hesiod, the famous Greek poet, called him the son of Iapetus, though he did not mention Prometheus's mother. Other writers, however, claimed that Clymene was indeed the goddess who birthed the mighty god. The story of Iapetus and his sons continues to captivate storytellers and scholars today. Some even claim that he is connected to Japheth, the son of Noah. This theory points to the similarities between their names and the fact that Japheth is said to be the ancestor of Indo-European peoples. Whether this is true or not, it is clear that the story of Iapetus is a fascinating and enduring part of Greek mythology. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.